Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tech Team GB. Today we're going to be unboxing uh, this water cooling kit. Um, I think this is the XSPC, um, what is it called? EX750, something like that. Two, no, 240. EX240 and it's 750 something. It's a 750 litre per hour pump and a 240 rad. So I got this one from Skanks at the best price, I think it's about 120. Yeah, okay, so let's crack the school plan. Away from myself. Maybe speed this up. <laughs> yeah. I'll cut it over. Now. It's kind of funny to see people unboxing stuff. Yeah, I do like it. My favorite. Right. Right. It's nice. Let's put that away. Also, let's do it. some air. Great. This this stuff cools your computer very well. Um, yeah, it's nice to have included this. Um, it's going to be a nice addition to my water cooling setup. I think. I'm not sure whereabouts in my case I'm going to put it, but yeah, it's cool. What okay, you definitely so don't want to do is put it in the water cooling loop, that's oh, very yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. You want to get as much air out as possible. Yes. Okay, so I've got my receipt there, so I don't want to show that on camera. Oh, it's a box inside a box. Right, it's actually a really nice box. It's a bit ripped. Very nice. Okay, the ends aren't put on, but anyway. Okay, so an excellent picture there. That shows you Wait, how the block lights up. Can you see that? Yeah. That's an awesome picture. That uh, shows you the three main components that come in the kit. So you've got your block, uh, the pump brace combo, and the rad itself. Uh, and then a nice subtle XX XSPZ um, logo on the side, and then a performance CV water cooling kit. Uh, it shows you um, what you've got inside yours. So I've got the Ray Storm Intel, but I believe it comes with the AMD as well. Uh, the EX240 um, back black nylon. That means and comes 2750. So I mean, I get 2750 pumps. <laughs> Hope it comes with the AMD kit anyway. Otherwise, I'll have to order one. That one's terrible. You get it free though. Thank you very much for my assistant, Andrew. It's even lined it up. Inside a box, inside a box, inside a box. With loads of other boxes. Yep. Alright, okay, so we've got our tubing, I believe this is a 6 feet uh, clear white tubing. Yep, looks like mine. Uh, oh, what was it? Yeah, it does look a bit manky. Mm, kind of gets in there a while. Well. Uh, it doesn't look as bad when it's on its own. I don't know. Okay. Whatever. Tubing, probably not the highest high quality tubing, but it is clear. Uh, I'm not sure how easy it creeps, but I'll have a look at that. I'll put that there. Right, so you've got the AMD mounting kit, so it does come with it anyway. Uh, you've got your um, screws and your spring screws. And I'll take this out. That's all, because I'm going to be using it. There you go. I won't take it out of the film. But it's clear acrylic and has a black piece on the top, so you can actually, if you want to do, respray this and customise yours. And it's also got two um, four LED holes, so you can light up block blue. Uh, I do believe you can buy other LED colours off their website. And here's the mounting hardware. Uh, it uses the stock AMD backplate. Basically, uh, you put a washer on and then a spring, and then you just tighten it into the backplate. So that's that. Uh, you've got your fittings and some plastic crimps, and also a bracket to mount the rad outside. That's kind of cool. It actually comes with. I didn't know it came with this. Keep it. Yeah, basically, it comes with a 40 pound supply thing. You can do this yourself with a paper clip, although. It's kind of nice they gave it to you. So that's cool. Your six fittings. Yeah, they are bar fittings. Uh, they're not quite as nice as compressions, but they're much cheaper to manufacture. And then little plastic crimp things that you just crimp over your tubes uh, to keep them tight. Uh, I believe it comes with six fittings and six of them. And if you're crazy enough to be mounting this outside, of your system, you can use these brackets to mount it outside your case. I don't think people do that anymore. I don't know, people might still do that. I guess if, you if you've got a really small case, but then it wouldn't make it a small case anymore. Okay, okay you can do that, but I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, these are the fans they come with. These are quite nice fans. Uh, what are they? Extra room. Uh, 12 volt DC fans, 1.8 amps. Uh, just standard OEM yeah, fans, apparently 1650 RPM. And they come with quite a nice black sleeve. Um, 
Yeah, he triggers me through that. Oh, wait, you go on. Oh, fun. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a big, um... Yeah, big hub. So, they're not the best fans, so I just they're quite loud, but, you know, for um, included fans, they're not actually too bad. Um, some metal black grills. Do you want to load to outside? Yeah, if you want to mount it outside. Although some people put these inside if they've got their hand in their computer all the time. So you don't burn any fins or get your hand chewed up. I uh, don't really like the look of them. I don't think I'll be using them. I have. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm guessing this is going to be the CPU block itself. No, I'm great. Okay. The CPU block it comes pre installed with the Intel. Vacuum wrap. Comes pre installed. Yeah, it's got plastic film on this, so I touch that. Yeah. So it comes, there's the block itself, and this just falls off. Pulled it out so I can see. So that's the block itself. Quite a nice copper surface, I'm not going to take that off the back because I don't want to ruin it. And there you go, you can see the Intel mounting and this bracket that goes over the top. Once you screw the screws, this won't fall off anymore, so yeah. It's quite a nice looking lock. Yeah, no. oh, I can't it. Yeah. And it comes with some silica gel. Yeah, you can eat this stuff actually, it tastes really nice. Don't eat it. Just putting that out there. Um, some more of them mounting screws, the same as the one that came with AMD. They might be slightly different. Looks it's like they come with a few more washers. The LEDs. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, so it comes with two LEDs. Uh, so if you're it on the AMD, you've got to choose whether a top or bottom or left and right. Um, so yeah, quite nicely sleeved as well. Yeah, did quite a job, although that piece room is that long. But anyway, big picky now. Uh, comes with an XSPC TIM um, interface material. It's quite a little, I'm not sure how good quality this is. I'll probably be using some other stuff. So yeah, there's that. Um, 2011 mounting hardware. Uh, just M4 screws, I believe, yeah. and some washers, and then your tag plates. Right, people go next. Right, so this is the pump. Comes with six screws uh, to mount the pump. Uh, another LED, just one LED, so that's a light up equivalent. Itself with a nice bit of foam. Right, that's actually a really nice looking pump. It's kind of a weird finish on it. But anyway, yeah, so there's your fill port on the front, uh, your output for your water and input, um, just a spare valve, I guess. I don't know, it's one of the different shop ports. Yeah, it could be a fill port, I don't know. Um, that's where your LED goes in. Your mullet's connected to power it. There you go, you can see sort of the brushed aluminum plate on the front. Okay. This is the mounting for the rad on a piece of cardboard for some reason. Uh, so as uh, long, long screws and small screws. So the small screws are just for mounting the rad itself, and the long screws are mounting um, fans to the rad. That's neat. So there, there. Over the cameras. And then the 240 rad. So. Uh, it's got like a paper protector to stop uh, the fins getting bent. So there you go, there's the rad itself. Doesn't really bite anything. Uh, it's just got some yellow plugs off the front using them. Quite a lot of dense space, isn't it? Actually, I think. Yeah, I think quite a lot of them have that barcode on the back. Uh, punched in XSPC logo. Yeah, a really small tin tank. And you'll see where you're. Yeah, which is good for the size of the arms. Yeah, that's good. Can you see any bent things? I'm not sure what the FPI is on this radio, but I think it's quite low. No manual. 
It's another nice picture on front of it. Ooh. Ooh. And then it's got an AMD picture on the back. Uh, yeah, great. Thanks for putting that on the back. And it's got a picture of a rad post up. And it's actually got a bent fin there, so that's good marketing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, just go for installation. So yeah, it's a nice colour though. Yeah. Cool. So thanks for watching this episode of Tech GB for the unboxing of the XSPC EX240 Brad Walkcoming kit. Um, stay tuned for more videos, including the installation of this and the review. Uh, watch the weekly tech and subscribe, like, comment, dislike if you dislike the video. Tell us why you disliked it. Yeah. All that stuff, thanks for watching.